Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, in one of my previous videos that I did last year, I mentioned that we was looking at selling our house and it was all complicated, uh, but we've actually now sold our house and we're going to be moving out in a few weeks' time. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to show you um, my office space, the first real office space that I've had dedicated to sort of work and not having to share it as a bedroom when I was living at home with parents and things like that. Um, it is only tiny, it's only 2.6 metres um, that way and 2 metres that way. So it is really tiny and obviously when I show you around you will find out uh, sort of how tiny it is and that I, I don't have enough space to have everything set up so I have to like take things down or pack things away and then when I want to use them I have to get them out etc but hopefully when I move uh, I won't need to do that and I'll have more of a bigger space to be able to have dedicated spaces for things um, so I'm going to switch the camera around now and I'll show you sort of the office. So this is what you'll see as you walk into the office so as you can tell it's really really small uh, we'll head over to my bookcase to begin with this is just nicely tucked into the corner uh, it's just a tower bookcase that I bought from Argos, which is like a store in the UK. Um, it's pretty much just got a few books on there, from fiction to Star Wars, graphic design, um, illustration, but also I quite like reading biographies of like famous entrepreneurs such as Alan Sugar and Duncan Bannantyne. Uh, so yeah, so that's my bookcase. It's quite useful. And on top of that, I've just got a robotic dog. Uh, I got this when I was a kid. Uh, and because it was relatively new technology at the time, I've just kind of kept hold of this version because I feel like there's nothing around similar to it now. And hopefully in a few years, it might be worth something. Uh, but I just like how sort of robotic it does look uh, compared to the stuff that you can get now. Uh, so yeah. And that's just to add a bit of interest to the top of the book uh, bookcase just so it's not as boring uh, as you can see there's the window there that i tend to have blocked out with these poor poor blinds um i should have got some new ones but i didn't uh, and it's just shocking it lets so much light through so when i'm doing youtube videos and the sun's out it just causes so much uh hassle with the Sort of lighting of the video um, moving on to these lights so these lights are newer newer um, 480s or 460 lights uh, they're obviously plugged in at the moment but they can be battery operated and yeah I just got this in a set of two so there's that one there and that one there they came with some cases and things like that just to keep the lights protected uh, but yeah they've they've sort of served me well really so far um, so I don't think I'll be changing these out the camera that I usually use to film is a Nikon D3300 and on top of that is a Tax, tax Star microphone shotgun microphone that cost a few quid off eBay um, so that's pretty much my setup. I have been looking at upgrading to the Canon M50 or the Nikon Z4, uh, but they're very pricey and I don't really need to upgrade just yet. I feel like my videos are okay, uh, but if you feel like they're not, please comment uh, below and just let me know because I'm happy to take on any feedback. So yeah, and that's on a Manfrotto B3 tripod. So I just use that when I'm out uh, taking photographs as well. Uh, it doubles up as my tripod for when I'm doing YouTube videos. So I'll move on to the Toshiba TV. I've just got this in the corner. Um, I wanted a TV in the office just because I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I just wanted something that while I'm working I can have on in the background um, so I got the TV primarily for that but then I realised that if you hook it up to the 
Nikon through a HDMI to mini HDMI, it also acts as like a screen. And because the Nikon doesn't have a flip out screen, obviously the way I've got it set up now on just a like a wall bracket is I can sit, look at the camera and also see myself, which is just for obviously the price of the Nikon D3300 to get sort of that out of it um, is just brilliant for especially YouTube videos. So yeah, so I just use that for watching YouTube, Netflix and Amazon Prime when I'm in the office and also use it for doubling up on, on the camera to see what I'm, I'm doing. So we'll move over to the main area, which is the desk. Uh, it's quite uncluttered. I try and keep it as tidy as possible uh, just because there's no space for anything anyway. So I don't want to then add more clutter to it. So the on the left hand side, I tend to keep all my notepads and bits and pieces like that. So I've got the Pantone color guide there and then I've got a little sort of book that I just use for writing down notes and anything that I need to remember uh, goes in there. And then these two sort of notebooks, I use this one primarily for sketches, like any logo designs or leaflets and anything like that goes in there. And then I use this, um, this notebook for sort of bullet journaling. So I use that for my day-to-day -day tasks, what I'm up to, what I need to remember, anything like that goes in there and then all the design work goes in there. Um, this is a Generation 1 iPad Mini. I mean, this is like so old. It barely works, but I still have it around just if I want to look at the news or just read up on anything. I'll tend to use that uh, when I'm obviously in the evenings and I can just cause it down and just read off that. This is the main computer that I work off. This is a 27 inch iMac, um, 5K display. I think I bought this in 2016 or 17. So it is quite getting on the old side, but it works perfectly well. I've not had to upgrade the RAM yet, which is, is great. Obviously, that probably be the next stage just to get a bit more longevity out of the iMac. But other than that, it's a really good workhorse and it's just paired up with the standard iMac keyboard and mouse. Um, to back up and put all my design work on, I just have a Western Digital hard drive there. I think that's about 500 gigabytes. But I also have a 2 terabyte Western Digital drive that I use as well with my iMac and my MacBook Pro uh, just for time machine. So I've got two sort of hard drives there that I can use for backup purposes. Um, this is just the bag for my lapel that I'm using now to record this. Um, and then I've just got some drawers and cupboards here. Quite a messy drawer. I just use that for any sort of pens, junk, cables, anything like that. Uh, I would like to get more organised, but because I don't have the space, I kind of just chuck everything in there. And then underneath it is just a, where I keep all my paper and folders for general house, house stuff like bills and things like that. Underneath my desk, uh, as you can see, I'm just using a four port extension lead to get all my plugs in. Uh, there's my MacBook Pro, just I've nowhere else to put it. So it's just lying on a couple of boxes. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, on the right hand side is just like a metal folder holder, a folder holder. Maybe that's what they should be called. I don't, I don't know. I quite like the sound of that. Um, so yeah, I just keep all my invoices here and any important documents keep in, in there. And then moving over, I've just got my printer, which is a brother J6520 DW. Uh, they no longer sell this, and to be fair, it's it's been all right, but I would have preferred to invest in a better photographer's printer rather than this. Uh, obviously, it does A3 and all that kind of stuff, so it is good for multi-purpose use, but for proofs and things like that, it's just not up to the standard. 
so I will be looking at getting a new printer soon uh, I have been looking around but if there's anyone that can point me in the right direction as to what printer a graphic designer should have I would be willing to listen so please drop me a comment uh, below and I'll check it out and get back to you uh, and then that's just on sort of a another draw space the desk and these drawers came as like a, a set and um, they were from the same sort of range if you will so I just thought I'll get two uh, cupboard space and then obviously it works as like a bit of extended worktop space uh, and here I have boxes uh, and things like that um, so I just tend to save all my boxes because you never know when they're going to come in handy uh, and these are the cases that you get with the newer lights so they're padded and quite robust um, but yeah so that's just a bit of a junk place as well because there's not really a great deal of space here I can't really organise anything uh, but saying that I don't put any artwork or shelves on the wall which maybe I need to do in the new office and then moving over to the far right near the door uh, I've just got this cork board square thing going on uh, I use this just for pinning up any drawings and sketches that I've done just because I like them on show because uh, obviously I'm proud of what I'm doing so I just like to put them there just so I can look at them every now and then and think oh yeah that's good or I could probably develop that now into something else and things like that but also I quite like having this here because with the light being there it provides a backdrop to my YouTube videos when I'm doing them in the office so it's quite good for that just adds a bit of interest to the the videos and I mean that's pretty much it it's pretty boring um, there's not really a great deal going on in the new office obviously I'm looking at getting blackout blinds and also a larger desk uh, I know there's a lot of people at the moment going on about desks from Ikea um, like the desks and then they've got the the double sided cupboards that and then they've just put a desk over the top so I'll probably be looking at getting one of them just to add a bit more space because obviously when you sat there typing away you've not really got any room to do anything because the iMac's so big uh, so I do need a larger desk but other than that I'll probably add some more shelves uh, some artwork and things like that but when I do get it all sorted I'll do another video so you can see obviously what this video was like and also what the new office looks like so that's pretty much it um, there's the office if you've liked this video please comment give me a thumbs up because um, I really appreciate it if you didn't like the video still comment and give me a thumbs down if you really need to but hopefully you won't uh, if you do like these videos please feel free to subscribe because it'll just help me um, know how many people are liking the videos and subscribing and it'll just help make the content sort of analytics more visible for me uh, but yeah that's it uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video I'm gonna leave it there uh, tune in for the next one and I'll see you.